Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, as usual, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. Let us analyze the price action from the higher time frame to lower time frame and find the current trend of the price action and present resistance and support levels. So when we look at the economical events calendar, for today, today is Tuesday, September 6th. We have high impact news for Australian dollar related currency pairs at 10 a.m. And from 7.15 p.m. we have medium impact news for US dollar. And from 7.30 p.m. we have high impact news for US dollar related currency pairs. So requesting you to consider these events also while planning for your trades today. Let us begin our gold analysis. So I am in daily time frame now. When we look at the price action in daily time frame, again I am going to draw a resistance line or a trend line. So based on this resistance lines, we have noticed the price action to be trading below this resistance line. So the current trend of the price action is in a bearish trend and when we notice the current price action it has tested the support level of 1696 then we are noticing the price action to bounce back from the support level on the bullish side retracement in the past also we have noticed this level to be acting as a support level and current price action also has taken support on this support level and we are seeing a retracement to start from this support level when we look at the price action in the higher time frame so in weekly time frame also we are noticing the price action to be bouncing back from the support level of 1711 and we know from the past price action that the overall price action in weekly time frame is still trading within this rectangle pattern so now the price action has tested this support level between 1711 to 1696 and we are noticing the bullish side retracements to start in weekly time frame and in monthly time frame also we are noticing the price action to be bouncing back from the support level of 1711 so in daily time frame weekly time frame and also in the monthly time frame we are noticing the bullish side retracement to start in gold us dollar currency pairs so for the current price action in daily time frame this level between 1696 to 1680 is going to be acting as a very strong support and the price action has to break the support level in order to have a bearish side trend reversal in daily time frame so these are all going to be the resistance for the current price action in daily time frame so currently we are noticing a bullish side retracement to start in daily time frame let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame now. When we look at the price action in hourly time frame, it was nicely trending on the bullish side and it found resistance on the resistance line from the daily time frame. And we have noticed a price action to trend on the bearish side. When we draw a trend line to check the current trend of the price action in hourly time frame, I am connecting the highs over here so currently we are noticing the price action to trend on the bearish side took support on the support level of 1694 and we are noticing the price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement so next level of resistance for the current price action in hourly time frame is going to be around 1735 only when the price action breaks this resistance line we can expect it to continue trading on the bullish side and next level of resistance is going to be around 1763 from the daily time frame so the current price action in hourly time frame is also on the bullish side retracement but we have lots of resistance levels over here from the higher time frame let us mark the resistance and support levels for hourly time frame so the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for hourly time frame. 
Currently, we are noticing the price action in hourly time frame is also to be trending on the bullish side retracement. So, if you want to take trades on the bearish side retracement, wait for the price action to break this support line and to break this previous support level of 1713 in order to take trades on the bearish side. And as long as the price action is trading above this support line or the trend line, it will be the continuation of the bullish trend in hourly time frame. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame now when we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame. Previously we have noticed a price action to have a consolidation over here. And now the price action has given a breakout from this consolidation on the bullish side trend. And also the price action has respected this hourly time frame trend line or the support line and it is on a continuous bullish side retracement. Next level of resistance is going to be the hourly time frame resistance line over here. And if the price action breaks this resistance line, we can expect the bullish side retracement to continue in 30 minutes time frame also. And only when the price action breaks this support line, we can expect the bearish side retracement to start in 30 minutes time frame also. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame. Let us do the analysis in 15 minutes time frame. I am in 15 minutes time frame now. When we look at the price action in 15 minutes time frame also, it is similar to the 30 minutes time frame. It has given the breakout from this rectangle pattern where it was trading on the sideways and consolidating on the bullish side retracement. So similar to the 30 minutes time frame, only when the price action breaks this support line, we can expect the bearish side trend reversal to start in 15 minutes time frame. And if the bullish trend continues, next level of resistance, it's going to be the hourly time frame resistance line. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 15 minutes time frame. So the conclusion is the current trend of the price action in daily time frame and in weekly time frame and also in monthly time frame are in bullish side retracement. And only when the price action breaks is very strong support level between 1690 to 1680 we can expect the weary side trend to start in daily time frame. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.